Hi, in this video, I'm going to talk about the different pros and cons of a quant career. So who is a quant? So these are people who work in the quantitative finance or financial engineering. Well, quantitative finance is nothing but doing uh, quantitative uh, statistical mathematical research uh, in uh, banking and financial service industry. There's a lot of applications of statistics, mathematics, econometrics uh, in finance, investment. So use of quantitative uh, research has been there in banking and financial service industry for last three to four decades. So since two, 1970s, people have been using uh, statistical techniques to uh, do research in the financial service industry. So data science is fairly new. Uh, um, so we can roughly say that quantitative research or quant is some sort of a specialized area of data science that is heavily used in the uh, banking industry. The nature of the work. Well, there is uh, quite a lot of scientific computing you need to do. So you need to do a lot of uh, mathematical uh, computational work you need to write programs in C++, Python, C Sharp, Java sometimes, R, MATLAB, SQL so these are also the languages you use in use in data science uh, probably not so much C++ but C++ is quite heavily used in quantitative research and then you have to know uh, quite a bit about finance uh, the loan products the derivatives bonds equities People normally work in trading areas to do research uh, on how to sort of improve the human trading by automating that using quantitative research. But there's also a lot of quantitative work uh, uh, in the hedge funds where it's not necessarily trading, but it's about uh, finding um, finding better investment areas using quantitative uh, techniques. There's a lot of uses of stochastic calculus, time series analysis, um, and sometimes uh, machine learning is also used. So pros, uh, what are the pros of a quant career? Uh, first thing, the great salary. So the starting salaries are quite good, especially if you're working for hedge funds or investment banks. Uh, you make a, quite a good money. Uh, and it's generally more than other similar career. For example, a quant in a top investment bank would make more money than a data scientist in a tech company. Although the work is very similar, um, but quants normally make more money. And the huge bonus, uh, especially in investment banks and in hedge funds, where uh, in good times, if the return, uh, if the, the organization is making a lot of money, then you get quite a good bonus. It's also intellectually challenging because it's not just about developing softwares by using automated script. It's, you actually um, understand the theory behind the investment strategy and so So it's quite intellectually challenging and many find it very intellectually challenging, especially those who come from academia, those who have got PhD in maths, physics, uh, computer science, uh, these areas, they find quantitative research in banking quite intellectually challenging and high growth rate especially in the initial phase of your career um, you could start from 80,000 100,000 uh, dollar and could easily move to um, in excess of 200k in about three to four years uh, it's also a very high growth rate in other countries not just in US in UK in European Union in India even other uh, Asian countries like in Singapore, in, in Australia, South Korea, you name it, quant is a very high paying quality, especially for beginners and for, for the first 8 to 10 years you grow at a very rapid rate and but the problem is after that you hit a glass ceiling, the growth rate after that is uh, not, not that great but, but initial years are wonderful. Um, there's strong entry barrier. Uh, only people with very good qualification, PhDs from top universities or uh, bachelor's, master's degree from top universities are allowed to enter into this area. So there is less competition once you enter. Um, it's a very niche area. So uh, you'll always be in demand in the market because there are not many people with your level of skills. And such skills cannot be learned uh, in a university. I mean, that would be more 
theoretical but once you have applied skills uh, you can easily um, you know bargain a lot in the market and some people even think that they can retire early because they make quite a lot of money early in their life uh, you get uh, you know you can make happy million uh, salary even in your 20s if you are a very good quant and you could possibly retire early although that's not always possible especially in the recent times after regulations on bonuses and all in banking industry uh, the pay has come down but in hedge funds where there is no regulation at all the top quants are making uh, very good money uh, and then if you have phds and you have let's say spend 15 20 years in industry you will be a prize position in academia especially in business schools and in many other areas of financial economics where you can make a career in academia also as an associate professor many quants have done that after uh, having worked in the industry for um, 15 20 years they have moved to academia and have got associate professorship professorship um, but that's not always easy especially if you don't have a phd degree in any of the uh, academic area need not be in finance if i have physics phd also you could well get a, an academic job these are some of the pros uh, there are plenty of cons uh, long working hours uh, is goes without saying especially in investment banks long working hours for working in the trading floor helping the traders that's always very tough uh, less job security uh, oftentimes you will not have job security in many of the funds especially in his funds that normally uh, blew up uh, um, in bad times so especially in corona times it's very difficult to find secure quant jobs you know and another problem with such a career is the skills are not transferable uh, although i do feel my personal uh, uh, opinion is that many of the skills you learn in quantitative research are actually transferable but some of it cannot be transferred for example the knowledge of finance or trading uh, is not useful in many other areas however the programming skills uh, your uh, mathematical skills machine learning skills can very well be used elsewhere also the only problem is that you will have tough time moving to another uh, sector another job that pays a lot less than uh, quantitative researcher so that's a problem uh, it's not that job skills are not transferable some of it cannot be trans is not uh, difficult to transfer but most of it can be transferred to other areas the problem is with the money that you probably won't get as much salary as you would get as a quant not so great working condition i think those who know um, those who worked in banks would know that uh, in financial centers such as London, New York, uh, the working hours are crazy. You have to work a, a lot, uh, let's say, compared to being a data scientist in Google, Microsoft, where the working conditions are much, much, much better. Um, it's considered mostly a young person job. That means people who are young would make the most out of it. Uh, as I said it earlier, you hit a glass ceiling once you are like 15 20 year experienced so uh, after 40 after your 40 you have very less um, opportunities for you um, lack of impact you don't feel like you are making an impact uh, with the kind of work that you're doing you feel like you are simply helping the rich people getting richer by making more money and uh, so that is probably uh, an issue uh, you you don't probably feel that if you're working in academia for example doing academic research or working as a data scientist in a, a top class tech, tech company probably you won't feel that uh, but then again that's a philosophical question i don't want to get into that uh, you feel like you know you're supporting the crony capitalism i mean people having tons of money the multi-millionaires billionaires you're, you're helping them to make even more money so you probably won't feel good about that but that's not always an issue for a lot of to conclude i would say do a research do good research on uh, a quant career before you enter into this field uh, it's not easy to enter into this field but if you are capable enough uh, do give it a try however i would suggest that do internship to get a feel of the job whether you like it or do you want to 
work in other places um, like 20 uh, 10 15 years back people with physics phds and uh, maths phd statistics phd they had little uh, you know of opportunity outside of academia and banking but now that is not the case amazon google microsoft um, ebay um, all kinds of companies are hiring phds and highly quantitative people so you don't have to be a quant uh, you can also become a data scientist and uh, in other fields non banking uh, organizations and make a good life out of it so talk to quants whether you like the kind of work they do that's very important uh, attend events of quantitative communities there are a lot of uh, quant events there are a lot of quant blogs also on the internet uh, read them you know free time if you could attend some of these events um, you should attend to get a feel of whether you will actually like the work and then you could also explore other related careers such as being a data scientist or uh, as a analytics manager um, so you could also explore these other area career options to see if actually uh, you like to get into something different than quantitative research and banking so these are some of the things you should keep in mind uh, before getting into uh, this career